welcome to episode number 181 of It'll Be Fine. And we're in December, it is a brand new month, the holiday lights are up around the city, and I'm on my way to go hang out and see the new apartment of my great friend, Jennifer McDonald. Jen is an amazing actress and voiceover artist and singer, just super talented. I can't wait to go bake cookies with her uh, because we're taking a classic holiday dish and we're turning it into a cookie, which is gonna be super fun. So let's go. <laughs> This tree is bigger than both of us. Oh, big time. 100%. <laughs> this is crazy. This is, this is... <laughs> look up, look way up. It's, oh God, there's more. Jesus ah. Christ, wow. <laughs> All right, so we've just set up, and what, what's just happened, Jen? The fire alarm's going off. <laughs> yeah. We haven't even started baking yet. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. The controversial holiday treat that is the fruit cake, <laughs> and we're making them into cookies. And uh, this recipe is from Walmart's magazine, Holiday 2014. I've never made it, but I've held on to it, knowing one day this day would come. <laughs> and they very cleverly call them, they call them Christmas cake cookies. So off the top, you don't immediately see fruit cake and go, mm. <laughs> Be honest. Ha, ha, like, if someone's ever given you a fruit cake, have you regifted it? No, I have not. Honestly not. Really? <laughs> no. Oh my goodness. I think you're the one person who doesn't pass that up. <laughs> no one has ever gifted me a fruitcake, but I've known many people who have like, thank you, and like put it on the shelf and yeah. you know, save it for later. I think that happens very often, yes. <laughs> I think so too. And look at these beautiful, I uh, just got them over here. Like who doesn't love a brightly colored cherry? And they smell really good too. <laughs> they really just open here. They really do. Just take a whiff, viewers. There we go. Oh, this is Christmas colors. Yay! To the max. Totally. What do you think these are dyed with? Oh God. Let's not talk about that. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, if you want to clear the sinuses, crack open a bag of ginger. Really? <laughs> Let's try. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Ovens and Celsius. <laughs> hey Google, what is 350 Fahrenheit in Celsius? <laughs> We're gonna be fine, guys. It's gonna be fine. You need a quarter cup of unsalted butter uh, for this recipe. If you use salted, I mean, it's not the end of the world, just don't use the extra salt that is called for. So what we're gonna do with this flour is right here. Um, and we're using whole wheat flour for this bake uh, to convince ourselves this is healthy. <laughs> exactly, right? And we're gonna take our spices, we're gonna put this in two, easy peasy. And we have both baking soda and baking powder. Which one's which, can you tell? Um, it's okay, same measurement of each, and that is gonna go in. And then we're just gonna set this together. You can do this with like a little fork, whatever you got. And then we are gonna chop in the butter yeah, yeah. Just wants to stick to butter that. down. <laughs> All right, so uh, doing this without any liquid. Interesting challenge, Walmart. Interesting challenge. <laughs> but we're beating it down with some uh, with uh, some spoons. We're going to add in the eggs next. We have a bit of liquid, uh, but we're getting a dungeon. We is. It's happening. <laughs> it's happening. So we need this guy here. Okay. Yeah. So we'll do a half a teaspoon of. Almond extract in place of rum extract. We've got our water there. And uh, for those playing the home game, once again, we should have waited to combine the flour, but I don't, I don't listen. That's fine. I'm really excited to add in these things. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait. 
I gotta ask while we're doing our prep. Did you uh, grow up in a house where like baking was a big thing? Did you have a grandma who had some good recipes? Oh, my grandma, but my mom and my dad both baked a lot too. So oh, no yeah, two uh, different chocolate chip cookie recipes that, uh, that we used to love to make. <laughs> you can be honest. Did you have a preference for which who which cookie recipe? My mom's. <laughs> <laughs> so we're mixing this all up as we do here. It's looking gorgeous. It smells really good. Just give it a smell. Mm. It smells super, super good. And uh, we are at the point of the program where we are going to add in chocolate chips. You can use whatever kind you want. If you want to do like a, a dark chocolate or a milk chocolate, it is your call. And we are going to need these. <laughs> oh, 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 this is going to be fun. Okay. The oven's off, so it's fine. It's off, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to fold in the nuts. Fold in? What does that mean? <laughs> and scene. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. We're just talking about the loose definition of fruit in fruitcake. <laughs> oh, boy. This is, uh, this is generous at best, but... Um, <laughs> I, I am looking forward to this. I am looking forward to this. And so what we're going to need next, friends, is we're going to take this, take our lovely little baking sheets you got set up already, and we're gonna we're gonna make some balls. Yay! Balls! <laughs> oh hey, we forgot the salt. <laughs> Oops. Oopsies! Half a teaspoon goes in there. Then we're gonna make our balls. One I, I don't think, I think you're the one person I know who's got an oven in Celsius. <laughs> and it's a brand new building, so I don't know why they do it that way. But... Kelly, do you have any holiday traditions in your house? Oh yeah, your house sounds normal. Uh, my house, uh, 8 a.m. vodka shots. <laughs> Dad comes around with a tray of vodka. And before you really know where you are, you're down. Now, I gave up drinking this year, so I don't know how I'm going to do this this year. <laughs> um, I may do it with some very fancy Perrier. Oh, there um, you go. See if Pops lets me. But yeah, that's the Zemnikas holiday tradition. Be drunk by 10. <laughs> and then I present Kelly and Jennifer. Roll cookies on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> Frenzy. Let's, let's show here we're... We're literally on the floor. Oh, that's trippy. <laughs> okay, so let's roll up some cookies. Uh, the oven is almost at temperature. Uh, and we just need about, oh, it's perfect. We just need about 10 to 12 minutes to bake these. And like, how long has this taken? Like mm -hmm. seconds. Yeah. It's taken seconds. So uh, we are good. Once again, we are making the Walmart Christmas cake cookies from... Uh, Walmart's holiday magazine of 2014. Yum. So it's, <laughs> it's good. All right, so let's do this. This says it yields 48 cookies. Uh, I say bollocks. I don't. I don't believe it. <laughs> um, so we're just gonna do these together. So it says to do uh, to lay them out about two inches apart um, on the sheet. So don't. Uh, don't bunch them up too much together. Let's get Jen in the shot. There you go. Hey. hey. Let's tell the friends how Kelly and Jennifer met. We met as ushers at the Elgin and Winter Garden Theater Center uh, probably like 15 years ago now. No shit. It's got to be. Well, when did you start working there? Well, we're still the same age as when we first met. How right? is that possible? <laughs> um... Yeah, no, you're right. It's probably about 15 years ago. Yeah, damn. Uh, fun fact about that theater, friends. Uh, it is the last remaining double-decker theater in the whole gosh darn world. So, it's pretty cool. There's a, there's the Elgin on the, the main floor, and then the Winter Garden on the top floor. And it's like you're in this English garden inside. It's stunning. It's totes haunted. 100%. Did you have any, like, interactions with anything when you worked there? Because mm -hmm. I did. I did not. I can't say I actually You did. didn't? No. Oh, man. I had a few. Yeah. There was one position uh, where when you worked in the uh, in the Winter Garden, uh, you had to check the back stairs at the end of the show to make sure no one was down there. I was the last person in the theater. 
And uh, the rumor was that there was someone many moons ago who was on his way to go play in the orchestra pit, I believe tripped and passed in the theater. A couple of stories of people taking their uh, leave from this world in the theater. Mm -hmm. And his being one of them, apparently he's quite a jokester. And uh, I have put the spoons down. So I'm going down the stairs and it's just me. I am the last person in the winter garden. Down the stairs I hear following me. Mm -hmm. Go down so quick. I was once ushering uh, and I was taking the spot at the top so I'm during the show making sure everyone's like okay. And then behind me someone went <gasps> there was someone behind me. <laughs> that but let's uh, show the friends what you're doing okay so here we go i don't know if i've made them too big we're running <laughs> next already put some more to that one i think these take. two guys can take a bit more yeah yeah i got a little tiny okay. tiny one here probably take some away from that one yeah I'm good to that but uh He's but good. it's it's such a beautiful theater i think the craziest show i ever saw there uh was uh was puppetry of the penis what I remember is we couldn't say the title because there was a kid's show playing downstairs. So when you were directing people in the theater, you have to say puppetry up the stairs. But you Not really couldn't even say name. puppetry because then kids would be like puppets. I'm going to go see what that is. I remember working that position at the base of the Grand Staircase. And I remember saying, if you're here to see the show in the Winter Garden, up the stairs. Smart. But there was a woman, because I poked my head in to see what was up, and uh, there was a woman who left the show midway with her two friends, and I heard her say, and I quote, if I stay here any longer, I will never have sex again. <laughs> here, I'll just show the friends at home what I'm doing. So, why did we get 12 cookies? <laughs> so, to so, yeah. So, we used the exact measurements. <laughs> And Jennifer and I have 12 cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Which we will enjoy very much. We talked about freezing the dough if we didn't want to use all the dough. Um, we've used all the dough. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, it's, it's part of my magic. Um, I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> but you know what? It's fine. It's fine. They'll be it, great. It's going to be great. Right? Totally. Yeah. Jelly okay. put some of these in I'm going to add one more friend, and then these are going to go into the oven for approximately 10 to 12 minutes at, in Celsius, 175, <laughs> or in Fahrenheit, uh, 350. Yeah. So pick your conversion. Which <laughs> this want. time, snacking on the tree. It's like, <laughs> screw the cookies. I just want this tree. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have to enjoy my moments of height. Yeah. <laughs> I make everyone feel tall. It's a mess. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> <laughs> this is the funniest thing. Like, I've done so much stuff on Zoom for comedy and everything. And when I've met, uh, you know, some fellow comedians uh, in, in real life, like, like three times out of five, I'm getting, I thought you were taller. Oh. <laughs> and someone said I had tall girl energy. Uh, nice. <laughs> so it feels, it feels good. But your home smells amazing. It does, yep. Oh my god, it smells super, super good. Yeah. Um, speaking of, before, I, before we get into these delightful cookies, which we had 13. Yeah. <laughs> they recommended 45. <laughs> Don't know how that works out, but it's <laughs> so uh, I gotta ask, now that, you know, live performances, do you have any theater shows coming up or any projects you're working on you want to dish about? I'm doing more voiceover than cool. live right now, so it's a lot of, um, a lot of doing auditioning and projects from my own home studio at the moment, but things yeah. are opening up again, so yeah. fingers crossed there'll be more live in-person things coming up shortly, hopefully. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I am off to my first concert in gosh knows how long, and... Just to think of like being with people in a concert again, it's just blowing my, the simplest things are blowing my mind right now. Mm -hmm. As are these cookies. Uh, are, are we ready? I think so. Okay, friends, our attempt with this bake, the Christmas cake cookie for cake, 
<laughs> uh, is to make a uh, fruit cake great again. Because I've never really been a fan. I'll be totally honest. Take this cookie. But I'll take this. Got one. Nice little baked. I think we baked these for what, maybe about 15 minutes in yeah, total, yeah. roughly? We had them in for 12 and thought they needed a few more minutes, so yeah, yeah. probably about 15 total. All right, well, cookie cheers. cheers. Here yeah. we go, friends. Mmm, mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, oh, give these instead of a fruitcake. Yeah, any day. <laughs> big time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It's mm -hmm. really, it's a nice chewy cookie. Mm -hmm. We did add nuts. Uh, we added walnuts and pecans to this one. It got a nice little crunch, nice little sweetness. This is a good cookie. And it says chocolate chips optional. Mm -hmm. I recommend the chocolate chips. They're a nice like melted gooeyness that's adding on to the whole experience. It's oh my wonderful. Gosh. Well, chocolate should never be optional. No. <laughs> it is mandatory. It is mandatory. Oh. Uh, these are really, mm -hmm. I am like, I'm surprised. Mm -hmm. But I'll be honest, I didn't think I was going to like this. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, I got a nice little chunk of chocolate there. Yum. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you picked this. Yeah, me too. This worked out well. I'm yeah. happy. <laughs> I gave her some options. She went with a good one. All right. Well. Whatever you celebrate, friends, I hope your December is amazing. Um, and make these instead of fruitcake <laughs> all the time. <laughs> no, I'm genuinely surprised I like these. <laughs>